BRICS, a major five-nation bloc, may be expanding. What does this mean for the world economy and geopolitics? China and India are the world's most populated nations. Along with Brazil, Russia and South Africa, the five emerging economies make up the BRICS group. It accounts for 40% of the world's population and around 25% of global GDP. Now the group is inviting new members, with Iran and Argentina formally applying for membership. Several other nations, including Egypt, Saudi Arabia and Turkey are also seeking to join. How would an expanded BRICS impact the current world order? BRICS was back in 2017. Uh, China was talking about that under its BRICS Plus model. Um, why is China once again renewing the call for expansion? Well, I think uh, in the face of an expanding and solidifying um, alliance across the Atlantic uh, and, and also against the backdrop of NATO, potentially playing more of a global role. They're already talking about, you know, uh, possibly uh, expanding into Asia. Against this backdrop, I think it's imperative for China at least to um, spearhead effort to expand BRICS um, in a direction of essentially a, uh, a coalition representing the developing world, representing the emerging markets. For Iran, what does Iran bring to the group? Well, Iran, uh, first of all, Iran is uh, the world's fourth largest holder of the world's biggest uh, oil reserves. Uh, Iran also has the second largest gas reserves in the world. Um, so I think Iran does have a lot of potential, especially in the energy sector for the group. Um, also for Iran, uh, gaining membership to BRICS would be very beneficial because Iran's relations with the, vet, with the West is uh, very conflictual at the moment, and Iran is looking for alternatives. Especially the current government of Ibrahim Raisi has shifted Iranian foreign policy towards the East. Iran's uh, foreign relations has become very closer to Russia and China.